So now I will discuss to you um, paano natin ma-determine kung ang given ba sa problem or yung hinahanap ba is C, R, or I. So based dito, si R is the nominal rate of interest. So R specifies the rate of interest and the number of interest periods per year. Samantalang si interest rate per period na ay is siya yung rate per period. So halimbawa meron tayong given sa problem a nominal rate of interest of 8% compounded quarterly. So malamang si 8% is si R kasi nabanggit na nga dito na nominal rate of interest. So paano naman natin kukunin si I? Si I is equal to R over M, which is M is the number of interest periods per year. So, pag sinabi natin compounded quarterly, so sa isang taon, meron siyang apat na uh, period na mag interest siya. Ano? So, we have I is equal to 0.08 divide 4 which is equal to 0.02. So, therefore pala, ang interest rate natin per period is 2%. So, ganun lang yun. So, let's have an example here. So, we have uh, at a certain interest rate compounded quarterly, 1,000 pesos will amount to 4,500 in 15 years. So, ang tanong, what is the amount at the end of 10 years? So, ang given lang sa problem dito is yung ano, yung present worth niya, which is 1,000 pesos. So, another uh, given is for future worth niya after ilan daw 15 years is 4500 pesos na siya sa loob ng 15 years so ang tanong sa atin find the future amount sa loob ng 10 years so bale uh, ang given lang sa atin is Yung mga amount niya sa present and then sa future. So, wala tayong interest rate. So, paano natin kukunin yung interest rate niya? So, base din sa first given. So, we have the future value and then the present. So, di ba, uh, compounding interest siya, compound interest. So, therefore, we have the formula for compound interest. So, Dito, um, diba, um, pakilag, dun kasi sa nagawa kong ano, PowerPoint, wala siyang M. Pero kasi sa book, inaalis niya na yung M dito, pero yung pagkuha ng N niya, uh, naka times sa M, times sa number of years. So, ganun lang din yun. Uh, the number of periods sa isang taon, tas kung ilang taon to, yung N. So, yan. Meron tayong, uh, yung present value natin is 1,000. So, 1 plus I. Huwag, uh, huwag na muna natin kunin si R. Ano, kay I na lang tayo. Huwag na tayo mag R over M dito. Kasi, hindi naman hinahanap specifically yung interest rate. So, okay lang na gamitin natin dito si R. I, si I. So, yung M is 4. Tapos, ilang taon, ba 15. Then, yung future amount niya after 15 years is 4, 5. So, therefore, meron tayong 4, 5 dito. So, makukuha nyo to uh, through calculator. Ano? Wait lang.
So we have I is equal to 0 0.02538. So ito pala yung ano niya, interest rate per period. So ito na yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung future worth niya after 10 years. So, kunin na natin after 10 years. So, we have future value. Ito yung hinahanap. Then, si present na 1,000 pa rin. Times 1 plus ano yung I? Ito siya, 0 0.02538. Then, ano yung M natin? 4 pa rin kasi quarterly. Then, uh, yung number of years is after 10 years na. So, we have 1,000 times 1.025383 is to 4 times 10, which is, ang sagot, uh, 2,000. 725.17 pesos. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Ano, after 10 years, yung amount na 1,000 pesos is magiging ng 2,725.17. So, how about naman, may follow-up question siya. Pag sinabi niya, what is the... Sa, uh, ang tanong, follow-up question, what is the nominal interest uh, nominal rate of interest so paano natin makuha si nominal rate of interest kunin lang natin ito ano so magiging r is equal to im so meron na tayong value ng i which is 0 0.02538 multiplied by 4 multiply lang natin by 4 so we have 0 0.02538 we have uh, 0 0.1 1 or 10.15% yung nominal rate of interest natin compounded quarterly so, kapag hinanap si nominal rate of interest, ito yung sagot, si R. So, pag sinabi namang, what is the uh, interest rate per period, edi ang sagot na natin, si I. So, another way para makuha si, si future worth ng money after 10 years, anong gagawin naman? Pwedeng, ah, uh, magpabalik naman yung gawin natin. Halimbawa, di ba meron na tayong value ng uh, future worth, which is, di ba sabi, after 15 years, ano siya, for 5. So, let's say, ito na yung future worth natin, 4,500. And then, Ano yung gagawin natin present worth? Kunwari, yung maging present natin is yung after 10 years. So, bale, ang hahanapin natin kunwari yung present amount niya, which is after 10 years, ba? So, therefore, kung ang present natin is yung after 10 years at yung future natin is after 15, therefore, ilan na lang yung end dito? Magiging 5 na lang, ba? Kasi ito, 15 years, and then yung present is 10 years. So, kung, kung ay, ang present ngayon ay yung 10 years, so, in the future, limang, uh, limang taon pa para maabot mo to. So, we have, ibabalik lang natin siya, ano? 1 plus i raised to mn. So, future, si future worth to. So, 4, 5, 
this is equal to yung P na hinahanap natin, 1 plus. So, same lang yung gagamitin na nakuhang I. And then, M is 4 quarterly. Then, N is 5 years na lang, remember? So, P is equal to, dapat naging same lang yung sagot dito. Sige nga, try natin. 4, 5, divide 1.025383 raised to 20. So, ang sagot is 2,725.94. So, nagkaroon lang ng differ difference sa decimal point. So, magiging exact yun kung uh, naka naka-store yung value natin ng i and then i. Kasi, di ba, uh, parang nagka-round up na tayo dito pa lang. So, ganun lang. Either way, kung galing sa 10 years na i-treat mo siya na present yung 10 years, tas ito na yung future mo after 5 years. So, kahit anong method naman, same lang yung magiging sagot niya. So, I hope maging malinaw na sa inyo yung I and then R. Thank you.